All right, welcome back. In this video, I want to take a look at building out the rest of this header. But before we do that, I want to talk to you a little bit about the data that we're going to be working with here. Sometimes as a front-end engineer, you might not have a back-end API ready for you. And sometimes that back-end API might not match what you actually need to make the front-end come together. So as a front-end engineer, you're right in the middle of the designer and the back-ender, unless you're doing that work yourself. And you're actually best suited to decide what the data is going to look like or needs to look like in order to make the front-end coherent. So I want to take a look at building out a mock data set here that we're going to be using to build out uh, this application. So let's just take a look at what we got here. So in the top of this header, we have uh, the exchanges part. And it has a, each exchange has a name an index and a percentage rating. And then we have uh, top five dividend yield stocks and we have some info cards as well. Uh, so what we're going to need is we're going to need information about stocks and we're going to need information about exchanges. And we can see further down here in this list that uh, the stocks will have a data set that we can use to kind of fill out this other info boxes up here at the top. So let's go ahead and build out this data structure. So I'm going to head over to the editor and I'm going to create a new file called data.js in the source folder. And then we'll say data equals an empty object and we'll export the data out from this file. Now let's begin by creating an exchanges property and assigning an array and it's going to have an array of objects. So first off we need a name and that was this and then we're going to assign an index. And finally, we need a change, which is the percentage. So that represents one of the exchanges. Now let's just fill out the other ones. And it's Frankfurt DX, Euronext, and Hang Seng. So let's go over here and we'll copy this and we'll just change the name for now. Euro next 100 and finally Hang Seng. All right, so now we have the exchanges done, uh, but we also need the stocks information. So we can see here in this list um, that we we need the name of the stock, uh, the ticker, the ask, the bid, dividend per share, PE rating, and also industry. But uh, if we zoom out a little bit and go over to this other view, we can also see that we need dividend per share in multiple years. And that's quite important because we're using that for a lot of things, calculating and creating, seeing if there's any trends. So let's go back to the first view and we'll start filling out what a stock looks like. So back in our editor, we'll create a new property called stocks and 
it's also going to be an array of objects and the object is going to be name and we're going to have a ticker and we're going to have bid ask industry let's go back and see um, I'm gonna have sector I think and we need the dividends so that's going to be an object and we're gonna say 2018 2017 2016, 2015, and we don't need to fill out all of these, but I think that's that's good enough for now. Let's see here. All right, so we need a home page and investor page as well. Okay, let's add those two. And for now, we'll just point these at Google. All right, so now we have a data set here and we'll, we'll fill out a couple more stocks as we go along. But the most important thing is that now we have a data set that allows us to build our components so that once we swap it out with an API, it will be a seamless transfer. So we can build our components exactly like we expect them to receive data from an API. And then once we have an API ready, we can just swap it out, which uh, makes it really easy for us to to uh, work with. So I think I'm gonna leave that here for now. I think we have enough data to work with. And in the next section, we'll start building out the header components. All right, so thanks for tuning in. I'll see you there.